very much appreciate you and your time to participate here. I hope you feel what I am giving you back in return. You are very much appreciated here.
Hello and good evening. You are tuning in to a live broadcast of the making of an actual course provided by Udemy.com. In deepening the practice of A Course in Miracles and all 365 lessons to literally achieve ascension this time as I take you along the journey in the way of thinking and the mind training in which I took about myself. I am your host, Rev. Devin Jesse Byrne. Test out the waters on this course and join me with no obligations, no commitments, with the first 30 lessons. Available today. Any continuation after that can be by donation, work trade, or whatever you feel works best for yourself and the whole. Let's see what Spirit has in store for us today. As we start this broadcast live from Utah, USA. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I, I made the switch to Logic Pro, so hopefully it's going to work all out. It actually made it quite simple on me. I, I made it very difficult at first, and then I realized I could just open a GarageBand program in Logic Pro, that's that's fantastic. So, hello. Hello. Hello, Carla. Hello, Erica America. Erica America. I think I say it like that every time. America. America. I'm American. Don't mess with me, I'm American. And hello, all the butterflies on the wall, and in the future, and all of you little unvocal, non-vocal anti-vocal uh, is not so far saying anything is vocal even what you're doing when you're typing in hello this is Reverend Devin Jesse Byrne welcome to my little world where we're getting into lesson 313 today one I'm sure is well anticipated as I've heard so many want to change their perception and yet do not know how uh, essentially this will not directly tell you because all these are very arbitrary little lessons <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's hard to talk about the mystical world when we're so obsessed with physicality now let a new perception come to me oh that's the title of the lesson today we can't listen to it that's what we do in the morning so but we're going to read it and then we're going to read some quotes. I have a correspondence to it. And then have a discussion about it, as well as compile the meditation. That's what we got going on today. Same thing we got going on every day. I want to take over the world. Pinky. <laughs> Pinky in the brain is just coming to me. What are we going to do today? <laughs> the same thing we do every day. Oh, toast fish sticks over a microwave? No. Try and take over the world. Oh, that's right. We do that, don't we? <laughs> the pinky. The pinky in the brain, brain, brain. I enjoyed that show when I was young. 
though I'm still young, aren't I? I don't think so. I, I don't know. You know, what, what is the definition of middle age now? Because is it not middle age, the expected lifespan? Is it not the middle of the expected lifespan of somebody? Because I got 60, 70 years of my expected lifespan, so then I am literally middle aged right now. <laughs> but I guess it's all a matter of def definitions, isn't it? It's all silly anyway. <laughs> How? So, how's it going out there? For some reason I was expecting you guys to type in or something. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and hop in reading into this lesson. As it's been fairly quiet around these here parts the past few days. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> well, I appreciate the interaction. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Was it the pinky and the brain thing or the middle age uh, comment? <laughs> I don't know. Damn delays. It's a matter of perception. It is. It is. Good here, yes, good there, and good here. Things are going well here. It's uh, it's enjoyable. <sighs> we actually kind of got a little more established in setting up a ayahuasca ceremony in Colorado. That's kind of exciting. So let's go ahead and read this lesson. I may or may not need to tweak a few things. I don't really know. It seems to be fairly similar. A little weird. A lot more cool stuff happening as far as... It's like way more official and professional around here. I feel like a damn pro. Uh, Carla, that's not quite set yet if I'm going or not. I don't know. But we know you're not, right? Yes, they were very specific to everybody oh. that something about antidepressants of any sort or or some sort of brain drugs of some sort. If you're on any of those, you do not want to go near this stuff. Unless you want unless you're ready to die. And hey. No, probably not on their watch. <laughs> like no, I'm not going to agree to that. Sorry. But it's getting set up. It's getting... Uh, I more so... Yeah. Enjoy the concept. Or the idea. Purifying. Healing. I like all that stuff. And I gotta support my peeps. I'll show you the steps you take them and it's inevitable these are the readings of the lessons of A Course in Miracles only part of a very intensive course in which guarantees transcendent experiences of alternate realities 
more information at openandclear.com. Lesson 313 Now let a new perception come to me. Father, there is a vision which beholds all things as sinless. So let fear... Oh. 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 <laughs> Hopefully it responds to the same buttons. Got into a routine here. There is a vision which beholds all things as sinless. So that fear has gone. And where it was, is love invited in. And love will come wherever it is asked. This vision is your gift. The lights, the lights, it says eyes. Jeez, what what is going on? Is asked. This vision is your gift. The eyes of Christ look on a world forgiven. In his sight are all its sins forgiven, for he sees no sin in anything he looks upon. Now let him true... Oh, jeez. It's Erica. It's... I blame it on Erica. Now let him true... Why does it keep going back to this? Interesting. These things are different. I don't know how to change this. Quite yet. Which is weird. All right. Okay. No. Mm hmm. Weird. Different, different settings. Things have changed around here. I don't know what is going on exactly. I think I got it. Okay. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. No sin in anything he looks upon. All right. Let's try and make it through this. Huh? <laughs> now let his true perception come to me, that I may waken from the dream of guilt and look within upon my sinlessness, which you have kept completely undefiled upon the altar to your holy Son, the self with which I would identify. Let us today behold each other in the sight of Christ, How beautiful we are. How holy and how loving. Brother, come and join with me today. We save the world when we are joined. For in our vision it becomes as holy as the light in us. You're behind the scenes right in this moment. Great time for any comments or questions because I am exporting this file. 
and I'll get to you all your comments that you already typed in in just a moment. Thank you for being here and participating. If you want to learn more about this course, please visit openandclear.com. Thanks for being a part of my life. I know, and Carla, you uh, you write you write me quite a bit, and I, I've told you that if you write too much, I don't I don't read it all. But that's me, Crystal. Hello. Oh my gosh, I I, don't, I didn't do my hair. Hello, hello. You say, I have been resisting a new perception and your guidance uh, precisely what I was supposed to be doing. I now know why you are doing this, uh, doing with me what you are doing. You said to take baby steps or things were going to go awry and they are. I took back the surrender and I have insisted on seeing things the way I want to. I am asking for your guidance and your forgiveness for being rebellious and stubborn. I am worth saving and I am bringing this to the altar asking for forgiveness from you. I want and need you to be a part of me and for me to not compare any longer. Yeah, you know, it's it's just so much... It's more so... In the the factor of that, you know, are you going to listen to you or are you going to listen to me? I and mean, you're saying that you want my help, but then you don't listen to my help, and you just kind of go back to the same thing. So if you if you're just going to do that, then I mean, what's the point of me? You look like you're in a spaceship. Such cool effects. Yeah, you want to see something cool, Crystal? Let's let's see something cool. I got I got some trippy things here. Now, which one should I do? I don't know. Maybe I'll do a couple. Here, this is... Oh. No. Well, you might appreciate this as well, but this isn't what I was trying to do. This is rainforest here. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, you get a green screen going on. You can do all sorts of things. <laughs> you can even... You can even hypnotize people. This is my favorite. Right here. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I never know what to say though. Like what? Yeah. You are getting happy. You are happy. <laughs> Here's some uh this one's this one's crazy. 
This is like... I don't know. You think you see animals, and then there's no animals. It's not really animals. It's fractals. It's crazy. It's crazy up in here. <laughs> anyway, I got a lot of beautiful little backgrounds. Nice little things. We can teleport anywhere we want, almost. Should we go to the beach? Let's go to the beach. Let this dissolve away. <laughs> Welcome to the beach. It's kind of hot in this beach, though. Kind of toasty. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen that movie in a while <laughs> uh, I think that's time travel that's like the second one or something Austin Powers isn't it? I don't know I don't even remember but yeah it's pretty funny we got all sorts of things we can do here I just got some videos from YouTube go from the beach to a cabin Oh, maybe this one, I mean, this is like the bed, maybe, uh, not entirely appropriate. Uh, <laughs> get, a, get a different one. <laughs> Who needs drugs when you can just watch Devin on the green screen, uh, you mean the floating head in your living room? Ow, ow, I'm burning. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, that, that. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's enjoyable. <laughs> Where's my, uh, bonfire one where I was doing the other day? Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, this is funny. I like this. Anybody want some roasted head? It's snowing up there in Montana. nice I'm ready for some snow actually it's I mean it's like why 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 should it be cold and no snow I'm like, huh. let's get the snow going what are we doing so coming up next we're going to be reading some quotes that I have in correspondence to this lesson hey crystal if you disappear say goodbye so I don't you know keep talking to you when you're not really there I appreciate it. And that goes for anybody and everybody. What? So we just read the lesson 313. And we're going to have a discussion just after this. So stay tuned. I have been... I have green screen every... My Facebook Live seems so boring now. <laughs> I'm so burning. So burning now. Huh? <laughs> I'm burning. I'm burning. You get into the green screen, you're gonna burn too. Yeah, and I, I even have my invisible cord because it's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even notice. And you, I thought you'd be more envious of my wings. <laughs> yeah, no, Montana is definitely uh, cold. That's for sure. Hey, Crystal, I'm actually multi-streaming on YouTube, on Facebook, on Periscope, and several other platforms all at the same time. Right, America? You over there on Periscope still? Is it weird that we hear the ocean, but 
we're by a lake and a fire. Maybe I should fix fix that. <laughs> You hear me in the ethers? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> mm. it is, uh, so is Utah. Hey, I, you know, I haven't heard anything about Prop 2. How's that going? Does anybody know? Crystal, you're in Utah. I heard that it changed the day, the the voting day. You know, they they changed it the same day, and it's like I sent my vote in a week before they voting. Well, I I can help you if you're interested in the multi streaming. Though I think they're quick to uh, shadow ban people as well, but I think it's just me. <laughs> I think I'm just a loser and I blame it on Facebook, so that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's all Facebook's problem. The jerks. <laughs> wow, I feel like honored. Crystal is here. Follow Crystal Don Dirty. Uh, prop 2 is the medical cannabis, or they call it marijuana. Medical marijuana in Utah. I mean, I, you know, it's all this logistic crap in every direction, so, you know, no matter what, it's, it's, it's all weird and iffy. Just want to go in the right direction. I'm just for freedom in every subject. You caught up on Manifest? Uh, Chris asks over on Twitch because I'm on Twitch as well. <laughs> uh, no, uh, we we watched the first episode. I think it was a fairly long one. I think it was. So uh, no. I don't. I don't really know how much. I don't know how much is left. I'm pretty sure it didn't pass because, you know, when the majority of the state is being manipulated by uh, their so-called now political activists reference to as leaders of a church it uh, doesn't go well it's uh, yeah I mean for personal use of anything uh, I don't see why anything for personal use that you're not harming other people with anything I'm talking about anything it should not be illegal you should be completely free to do whatever you want in your own well, unless it's hurting other people, including children and stuff, we don't want to be, you know, I'm not saying we should legalize molesting children or anything, that's, that's, <laughs> don't know, <laughs> not going there. You just, they won't let it in without taking a cut. You can't even buy liquor without getting the state liquor stores. Everyone is exact, excited that Prop 2 passed. It did. But they will most likely be disappointed. And even on... As far as... it, So it did pass. Awesome. Because I'm not up to date. I just voted for it. <laughs> even on the... On the ballot. It's telling... It's saying how much money they're going to make off of it. And what it's going to go to. And all this stuff. I'm like... Hey, that sounds good. <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah, I also... I also voted for the... Uh, the 10 cents on a gallon for the support of education. I mean, uh, <laughs> children's education. I mean, this is f our future, for Christ's sake. I mean, come on. Like, get a brain. <laughs> and it might not be the best place to take it, but uh, it's... Um, 
Yeah. So, Trina, did you know Prompt 2 passed? That's crazy. I mean, that's awesome, but it's crazy. <laughs> Not that I, you know, I don't know. I'm like, do I have enough of a headache? <laughs> I know some people that could benefit from it. In fact, my niece, who is has a rare form of, it's an epileptic thing, but it's more so a mutation, she was calling it the other day. A cellular mutation and she the only thing that works and she's had implants electrical implants to stop it and all this stuff and different drugs all over the place and the only thing that's been working is not the uh, it's the oil whatever is I, I know the THC I, I always forget the DM something or other P Q S R L M N O P something or other over there whatever the other one is, and uh, they have to get it from Colorado, they have to have the license on them at all times, and, and all this stuff, and, and apparently it's really iffy, that she could, it, like if it's somehow misused or something, it's like federal offense, and all this stuff, it's like, come on, the kid is, has seizures, I mean, it's such a joke, and it's like the, literally the only one, only thing that has worked out of, I want to say hundreds of different things they've tried. Yes, it was passed, but there was so many, so much in the bill that allows the state to control. Yeah, it, it's true. I mean, yeah, but at least it sounds somewhat similar to California's. We won't have uh, depend. We won't have dis dispensaries. It will be most likely be like a steak li liquor store. Well, yeah, so it won't be... Um, so it has to be the state dispensary opposed to... And that's fine. I don't care as long as people that need it are getting it. That's what I care about. Though I, I support recreational use as well. Especially because spiritual use falls under the same category as recreational, and I find that absurd, but uh, then I definitely support, because that's the only way I would use it, is for spiritual use. In the spirit of ACIM, it's worth the efforts to forgive the church. I am at peace with it. Everyone is e evolving at different times. Yeah, definitely different paces. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 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 it's true true and I'm glad you know I to see that it passed is is beautiful I find that that beautiful that there is definitely more open-minded than closed-minded yeah Carla's got got some some things against the church right Carla <laughs> and that's okay There's a reason uh, the prophets have been dying quickly lately. But that's a whole other subject that we're not necessarily going to get into. So we're going to read this, these quotes that I have in correspondence to this lesson from my travels attempting to tra transcend this burp, transcend the world. And then we are going to have a short little discussion about this one-sided discussion. And then compile the meditation for this Udemy course, going through these lessons together. Yay. My mic is acting funny. What's going on? Here we go. Mm -hmm. only part of a very intensive course in which guarantees 
transcendent experiences of alternate realities. More information at openandclear.com. Relief. Today, I am free to start anew. Spirit, I do still remember things that I regret. I choose forgiveness now. I choose to remember who I am to you. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for relieving me. Thank you. A new perception involves letting an old one go. Often we have this occur, but we naturally have forgotten the old and have moved on flawlessly, believing we are the same. Now, this can be done on purpose, for that is what forgiveness is and what it does. It is said that Jesus forgives us and forgets all about it. As his responsibility, isn't it yours as well? If you are forgiven and St. Peter does happen to ask you about it at the gates of heaven, will you react as though it has been forgiven? Or will you still have some guilt and regret around what Jesus has forgotten. To forgive yourself quite literally involves completely letting it go, and the natural state of letting anything go is forgetting about it. If you do find yourself thinking about it still, you have yet to become familiar with the relieving power of actual forgiveness, and it still directs your perceptions. Some get discouraged by this, for they believe they have done everything they can and must be doomed by this. This is not true. You, with thoughts like this, direct your destiny and such fulfilling prophecy. Communication with someone else that sees your truth instead of your obsessions will assist you in dispelling the belief that it is such a big deal. For after forgiveness, there is nothing that is. The only big deal here is you. And if you believe something is more important than your happiness... You have yet to forgive yourself and remember who you are and who, no matter what, Now is the best opportunity for comments and questions. I'm exporting this file, and we'll get to those in just a moment. Learn more about this course I'm recording at openandclear.com. Let's see if I can do this. Things are different. Weird. That means we can grow up to six plants. 
well, probably not me because at the last minute they uh, added this uh, you have to pass a background check uh, you know, who? what does that involve because I mean, they like to add this idea that I have a misdemeanor called criminal mischief when I was 18 and guess what I did but it doesn't say anything it doesn't say anything about my criminal mischief it just says criminal mischief and what are you going to assume well you can't trust me because I got the offense I put my hands in wet cement and I cleaned it up and I confessed to the police officer that walked up yeah I did that (laughs) I'll fix it nope Canada didn't didn't trust me oh hell no they didn't let me in unless I paid which I did Yeah, it should be illegal. The the fact that they changed the Prop 2, like the day of, that's absurd because the majority of, even in Orem, at least as far as I knew, we don't even know, we didn't even have voting stations anymore. We had mail-in ballots. And (laughs) I mailed mine in a week, a week before, so before voting day I know I'm not a felon well I mean see I don't know what they're looking for I'm assuming it's more felon based and and criminal stuff but it, criminal mischief criminals the word but it was over seven years ago it was like in fact it was like what, what how, how long ago it was 18 no, I don't even know yeah. man that's like so got 10 years on 28 right so uh Oh, 14, 14, 15 years ago. So that shouldn't be a problem, but I'm not growing anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying, I like freedom. That's all I'm saying. I like the possibility and the option to do such. And Crystal uh, took off. She said, off to bed. I love and miss you, brother. You are... So, you're on so late. Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> it is late. And uh, Crystal actually used to host a Course in Miracles group around here in Orem. And just before she wrote her book, we were talking about doing another one together. But then she changed her mind because she's like, oh, no, I think I should focus more on some of this other stuff that I'm dealing with. And that's perfect. That's beautiful. She's got a cool book on angels. Angel readings and stuff she does all the time. Check it out. I wrote it two weeks ago. No, they are looking for like convicted felons. Yeah. I I mean, yeah, it makes sense. But I don't know. I just heard about it. It's like, what? They changed it the day? I don't even know what they... <laughs> I mean, how can that... That can't be allowed. That, especially with the mail-in ballot. When the majority of the population has already voted. That's just absurd. And you're not educating the people on what they're voting for anymore. Yeah, yeah, sponged off the record. Yeah, yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> Even a a judge, well, and I wasn't allowed in California, or in Canada. Even a judge was at the uh, the three week devotional I was going to, and she's just like, "I could do it. I can expunge it from your record." But there, there was, was no follow through on that, which is okay. But it haunts me. 
It's like, how dare you put your hands in wet cement and how dare you confess about it? The police officer even said, I thought you were one of the construction workers. I could have went with that. I could have went with that. No, she's not the one with the blog. That turned out to be the book. Nope. That was, uh... Lisa Natoli. Okay, I'm done with the ocean. See if this is any better. Erica came back for a moment and disappeared again. Oh, hello, somebody over there on Spreaker. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Snapple? What, what are you saying? <laughs> you just ask if I'm drinking a Snapple? What are you saying? <laughs> and it's funny, it says, it says, sent from an android. He's here. She's here? Uh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. The aliens are here. <laughs> Let's see your photos. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, come chat with me. So we're broadcasting several different platforms. Video and audio only. It's a very old charge and a misdemeanor for Christ's sake. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not worried about it. Nope, nope, nope. But your picture, the picture is the yep, 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 guys from Sesame Street. Uh huh, uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. I love those guys. <laughs> They're like my favorite. <laughs> Sesame Street. We are broadcasting from Utah, USA. Oh, uh, my chat's spazzing out on... I mean, where are you at? How do I say your name? Erd... Adrelian. Adrelian? Come on, I'm a radio host. I'm not an English major. Is that English? So we are getting into, just about to have this discussion on the lesson of A Course in Miracles, which is 313 lesson, Adderall Alien. Adderall Alien. Oh. Yep, 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 I get you, I get you. <laughs> so, sorry, uh, Carla and everybody in the chat has just spazzed out and did that whole Facebook crazy thing that it does every now and then. So I might have missed some comments. I apologize. So this is a course on quite literally achieving ascension. Training your mind how to see the... Quite literally to see the spiritual universe opposed to physical reality. So can we please talk when you are available? I cannot go without your guidance. Well, I just haven't been available a whole lot lately. This music isn't working so well either. What do I got? All this just rainstorms and water moving around? Oh, Adderall. Adderall. Adderall alien. Gotcha. You're talking about Adderall is a medication. Gotcha. Adderall alien. Welcome. So we got Carla. Oh, you're on Periscope now, huh, Carla? Discipline comes from yourself. Nobody else can discipline you. I'm not going to spank you. In fact, why don't you get your favorite dessert, put it on the table in front of you, 
go on with your day and never touch it. How about that? Learn discipline by disciplining yourself. Making the actual decision. And yes, you can feel it, but you can't taste it. You can feel it. Over time, you're, you're going to feel that it's getting harder. And it's going bad. And no, you're going to want to cover it. No, don't cover it. Get your favorite dessert. It's a cake or something, right? And it's going bad. It's sitting there. It's getting hard. Oh, man, that sucks. You don't get to eat your cake you spent money on. You don't have to. And you don't care. Because you're disciplined. I remember doing that with several different things, actually. In my teenage years. <laughs> well, try and do uh, the things I've already told you. Like, stop writing me so much. And taking your days of quiet. Right? You're not doing the things that you've been so committed to, so why the hell would anything commit to you? You got this. You can do this. You just gotta keep doing it. <laughs> Let me test this out. Test, test. Is it supposed to get harder? Well, I mean, if it's a cake, you know, it's getting going stale, right? <laughs> what? You know, this asks me too many questions. We were recording. Just delete it. I'm glad that it does, but that's annoying. Okay, we're gonna do something different here. So I've been making this transition to Logic Pro. It's a little weird. A little weird. I didn't exactly study up on it or anything. Okay, I want music. And this is just the freaking ocean. Way too casual around here. Hey, Adderall Alien, you still around? No, this is healing stuff. Well, what's your favorite dessert, Carla? And don't... You already know what I'm going to tell you to do with it. So don't go don't go lying about it. Let's be honest. What is your favorite dessert? This Sunday is for sure your silent day. Oh, but what happens if something doesn't go the way you had it planned? Cheesecake? Well, it depends on the temperature, I suppose, of cheesecake. And it is cold up there right now, so... Yeah, it would still go hard. You can do it with cheesecake. Well, you like plain white cheesecake? Well, you like some fruit on it, or... Are you a chocolate cheesecake kind of a person? You know, if you really want to push it, which I don't I don't suggest, is make it yourself and then oh it's gonna be so much harder not to eat. <laughs> I feel like religion God won't speak with me and I have trouble with following alternative methods. Well this is definitely an alternative method, however it is uh, actually in the practice of hearing the voice say, quote-unquote, of God. So if you do this course, I can almost guarantee, well, I'm not giving your money back, but I can guarantee <laughs> it doesn't necessarily involve money either. But anyway, you, I can guarantee you're going to be starting to hear something. You might just go crazy, though. <laughs> 
I feel I'm missing something in my life. Oh, if you think you're a physical human being and um, <laughs> separate from everyone, yes, uh, you are feeling correctly. You are missing something for sure. Uh, for sure. Too late? What? Wait, what? Too late what? There's a little delay. Sorry. What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, did is this seriously the ocean again? What is up with my music? Why is it all just ocean today? <laughs> okay, but you have too much talking. Come on. Yeah, 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 kids. Okay, maybe we should just go into our discussion, huh? Should we go ahead and discuss our lesson? I mean, how can you get some cheesecake, right, Carla? How can you get some cheesecake and not eat it? Right? I mean, you, you, you're going to set it apart at the time. Specific time, specific fork, specific plate. To eat that the freaking crap out of that cheesecake, right? But what if you didn't? What if more so you chose not to? And of course you could do this not get the cheesecake idea. But what is the control in that? Like you said, oh, Carla says, like you said, once you make a decision, it's done. And all parties involved have to make it work. I don't know if I've said anything about the parties having to make it work, but it's just a natural thing. When I make a decision, it's it's done, yes. <laughs> or else I don't make the decision. Why well, make a decision that you're not going to do? I mean, it, if you make the decision, like we think that it can change after that. So many people think that, oh, I can make a decision and still waver. That's not a decision, is it? It's like you still think there's a decision to be made. Once you make the decision, there's no wavering. If it's actually what you want, it's done. That's it. You got it. And that's that's how you break habits. You actually just got to actually make the decision and want it done. more so we we gotta practice making the decision for 30 days <laughs> and then yeah I finally made the decision I finally broke the habit <laughs> which is okay too you know it's whatever you want to however slow you want to take I am making the firm decision to do this Sunday period are you gonna have a period on Sunday Oh, oh, no, you're doing the silent day on Sunday, period. Gotcha. It's like confusing when you're right in period. <laughs> I was actually just... Hey, Chris. I was actually just thinking of what you're talking about, but in a different aspect. Like, making the decision to leave here would be... Would we be able to come back? But I guess not. Uh, you're talking about the all-powerful creator of all existence. Yes, you can do anything you want. But essentially, you know, as, at the same time, are you really making the decision to go if you're planning on coming back? Like, for me, I, I was making the decision to ascend. I wanted to. There was nothing else. I was giving it all up. There was no, oh, but I could maybe come back. And that's like... That's like not really choosing it, right? That's not completely choosing to go. So you're just not going to go because you're, you want to stay. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a little little tricky, but you don't have to worry about slipping out. You know, you can just heal, heal partially and, and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a little more loving and peaceful around here anyway. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this. Shall we? Yes, we shall. 
unless we got some dot dot dots coming in. It's dot 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 time, so if you're typing something in, let me know. Or else I'm gonna get started. But then we have the delay I gotta worry about, so now it's like five, four, three, three, two, one. Okay, no dots from Chris. Okay, Carla? No? No? Adderall alien? Does that mean you're like an alien to Adderall? Or you're a an alien that is obsessed with Adderall? Seriously? Cheesecake? You want me to do that with cheesecake? <laughs> Hey, if you want to learn discipline, you gotta find. I mean, you already know that you you don't have discipline, so it's more so you gotta do something to discipline yourself, right? And the silent day is is something just like that. But yeah, could you let cheesecake go bad? Oh, oh my god, it's like blasphemy, isn't it? Could you buy it? Or make it and make it go and let it go bad without eating it? Oh my god, so tempting, right? What is say this temptation is more so uh, to not learn discipline? Hmm. I I like stuff on my things. <laughs> so Jesus cake. I like if it has any sort of other stuff on it. You know, I, I would rather pick a piece that has strawberry on it opposed to a piece uh, that is just plain. If it has chocolate on it, anything. It's like my wife likes everything plain. And even like hamburger or cheeseburger. She likes the cheese on it. And hot dogs just plain. Me, I uh, sauce, onions, uh, everything, pickles, lettuce, mayonnaise, everything. <laughs> Put an olive on it. Blue cheese, mushrooms, I don't care. Anything, everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's, that's, no. She does not like black coffee. That's something that, uh, yeah, she, she likes it sweet. Not smoking on Sunday? No, don't do that, Carla. That's your own idea. Don't do that. Do my idea, not yours. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Yay. These are a series of exercises in which help us to apply the lessons that we have been learning a part of a very intensive course that guarantees experience of transcendence and divine realization. Register for this course now and learn more about it at openandclear.com Now what's the lesson here? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now... Let a new perception come to me. Hmm. As we've been wanting that, right? We've been training for it. Let's make it happen right now. Why not? This is the time. This is the place. Here we go. Let's accept the new perception. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Oh, should we go? Should we do this? Should we accept this? Well, you gotta figure out what we're accepting, right? Ah, oh, it's just more so the sense of relaxing and allowing and just surrendering to a whole new way, a whole new perception, a whole new idea. Just as much as we've been training about it and we've been forgiving for it and, and all these uh, attempts, it is very nice, it is beautiful. Uh, but now it's time to actually do it. Now it's time to actually do it. I mean, we're coming up on the end of the course. When's it going to happen? It is more so definitely up to you. 
When's it gonna happen? Completely up to you. It, it agrees. It agrees. If it's years down the road, if it's right on your deathbed, if it's today, do you really want it? Do you really want, say, to be healed in the sense of, do you want to see this alternate reality? Yeah, this is it. Now, it doesn't have to be today, but there is that decision to be made, and this is all that is, I mean, it is a decision. It's really strictly it, it, all it is. So you've, you've been on the fence, you've been thinking about it, you've been trying to figure out if you really want it, you've been maintaining a few things, thinking you can, just like uh, me, you might already anticipate that you can come back. So you don't want to really make the decision for going or ascending whenever this going because then you're just going to come back anyway so why go in the first place so it's a little tricky uh, but essentially it really is all up to you nobody not even myself is really going to be here for you and I'm not saying because they're all douchebags I'm saying we can't this is an inside job this is literally all on you no one else can do it no one else can help you no one else can touch your forehead make you go crazy places nothing the power is within you and therefore the decision for that power to reveal itself is in you if you're thinking and assuming that it's on somebody else in no way is this actually going to happen for you? If you think it's on some other deity, some other being, some other idea, some religion, some something else, even some outside source of God, it's not going to happen. So all of these things, whatever you think of it as, or think, uh, relate these ideas to, those are things that also need to be forgiven. That it's crazy. A lot of people ask all, all the time. is like, why doesn't God answer my prayers? And I, and I literally, directly, completely tell them. Because God is praying, hoping for an outside image of itself to respond to it. You are the center and the source of all existence, of all being, of all reality. And yes, it's okay to talk to your higher self as if it is some other entity, but it remains to be simply talking to yourself. And as much as this entire universe all is <laughs> constructed in this very unique fashion, very much layers and complexity, you just simply wanted to make sure that you could have an experience outside of the truth of experiences and there you go you're definitely doing that and some reason I'm craving Chinese food because of it but the occurrence of what your reality is has always been your decision you experience this world because of your decisions you will ascend this world because of your decisions. You will do and fulfill a course in miracles, the required course of this life. Well, this world, maybe not this lifetime, because of your decisions. You will live another life because of your decisions. You will live no more lives because of your decisions. You will experience anything and everything that you do every single day because of your decisions, not somebody else's. This is all on you. You're responsible for every last little aspect of all the totality of all existence, of all reality. Nothing has happened at all without your decisions. 
Now, if you can recognize that authority, that no one can speak to you without you wanting them to speak exactly those words. No one can ex- come up and talk to you unless you wanted them to come up and talk to you. No one can interact with you. No one can be happy with you. No one can be mad with you unless you wanted them to be happy or mad with you. Can you accept such responsibility? It seems like a pretty big thing. It's not, but it seems like it is because of these layers of complexity that we give ourselves. It's simply one thing, and that is who you are. You experience and you see every day, you see right now, all that you believe about yourself. All that you've decided, your decisions, to believe about yourself. So what do you really want? You can change habits instantaneously by decisions. You can become any sort of skill, any sort of talent by an actual decision to do so. You can perform miracles by this actual decision. Now it seems so crazy. It's like, well, well, how do you make this decision then? Well, as much as we've been talking about this, pretty much the entire time about this course, we apply forgiveness because what is forgiveness? A decision to no longer agree. With the ability to discern differences. You're making these decisions off of this completely regurgitating this knowledge of good and evil, this opposition stuff. And you're experiencing it because you experience a manifestation of your decisions. So this is a, this is a pretty serious course. This is not for the light at heart. It, the faint, faint at heart. If you really want this, you will, and quite literally, face the devil with every temptation that he knows personally that you so desire. And you have to actually be able to see past and see through every last single one of them. If you take one up, like, oh, come back to have a family and teach people then you succumb to again a decision it's not a devil outside of yourself it is a construct in which you develop to maintain yourself do you want an alternate reality do you want a happy dream or do you want this one if you don't want this one You have to be dedicated or die out of it. I think you're making some pretty good decisions. Just keep making them. Keep applying. You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. And I'll see you in the meditation. Thanks for being here. You're behind the scenes, and we are just wrapping it up here in just a moment. Get back to our conversation. So, if you want to chat, if you want to chat privately, you can always email me and contact me otherwise on your preferred social media by visiting openandclear.com. Coaching is available. Let's have a beautiful experience here.
Kyla, what are you saying? That's scary. I'm really facing this right now. I have been avoiding it. I want to jump out of my skin. And I'm not comfortable with how things are unfolding right now. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not comfortable with it? I'm in the process of facing my innermost self. It's not comfortable to me. I have been avoiding this pain that I have been feeling lately. Well, well, well. Are we healed? Hey, alien. You still around? (laughs) That was a pretty intense one. (laughs) Usually a little more lighthearted. But now we're going to get into compiling the meditation for this lesson. As you are behind the scenes the development and making of this course. That was kind of intense on that. Actually, we are, but not from that. Because healing would also imply the fact that we had impurities or somehow deficiencies and diseases or something. And I gotta tell you, we never did. So yes, in a way, we are healed. Since we've never been unhealed. But we talk about that, don't we? I mentioned it. Carla, why are you apologizing for that? And you think I don't uh, appreciate it? I'm sorry that I didn't... uh, I guess say... Ah, Chris. Chris says, I'm in this parallel dilemma right now with my mom. She chose a victimizing victimizing role, and I choose the victim role. Uh, She's been going through this thing where she's a coach of a horse drill team. Horse drill team? And her assistant has accused her of being rude and mean. (laughs) And I'm in the situation with a manager at work who I think is too bossy. Now are the role of victimizer and victim essentially one? That's a pretty good connection you're making. I would say it's uh, fairly similar to that, and essentially you are in some way or another. It's like a hall of mirrors, you know. It's some, as much as it's distorted, it is all reflecting you, and you can see it as as much as that. So in a way, yes, absolutely. If you heal yourself of certain beliefs such as that, like why is why do you have resistance to your boss? It would also reflect into your mother's occurrence and experience. Essentially, that's the whole idea of miracles, is that if you literally change the way your mind works, not just the thoughts you have, but the way your mind works, you literally change the occurrences that manifest. Instantaneously. (laughs) 
इंस्टेंटेनियस है So it looks like the transition into Logic Pro is is going well. Did that answer your question, Chris? Is that rewiring your brain in a way? In a way, uh, essentially rewiring your brain is choosing different thoughts and this is more so you don't have to think with a brain kind of an idea <laughs> oh, that's true <trippy. laughs> so the fact that you think you have to think with a brain and you have to wire it differently how about we think with a cloud of mist instead or an energetic form of being or can think with uh, with other ways, other things. It's not very tough for me to succumb to taking direction from people, like I became a a punny if I do, like I became a puny if I do. So you feel like you become small if you do. I'd say. Look at things like it helps for me to look at situations like as if we are a tribe and you're dealing with your tribe. And there's a thing, distinct thing about tribes as far as Native American. You know, I guess there's so many, so I can't name them all. <laughs> Stereotypes, man. Devin. Okay. But as far as distinct, uh, they're smaller, obviously, but they have distinct. Uh, jobs that people perform and are part of and you have to think of it in that fashion that you and your boss and, and stuff as much as you have your job but where do you really and you know, what is your real job where do you actually fit in like what are you it, and it's more so coming from what's innate in you and yeah if you don't know then people put you in places But you know. And you want to find that. And then establish that. But the, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot. Of, I mean, it'd have to get more personal, of course. To get really down into any of this stuff. Like specifics and so on. Hey, Carla, you, you want to take direction from others. Well, I'm really craving Chinese food. <laughs> and that, that brings up something, actually. I'm going to be right back. this file, it is a perfect time for any comments, questions, if you want me to elaborate on anything you heard, this is the best moment right now. Beyond the scenes of the development of this Udemy course, going through all 365 lessons of A Course in Miracles together, achieving ascension this time. Sharing this recording liking it and commenting is very much appreciated
Your interaction is very welcome. Thank you for being a part of my life. Is that still playing? You know, Carla, this is not about deals. <laughs> this is, this is, I have suppressed and made decisions like that many times over the years. To not take and not participate in things I've wanted... It's too late. I already took out the Chinese food and started defrosting it. <laughs> because we had some the other day and I just accidentally put it in the freezer instead of the fridge. And now I may partake. <laughs> no, remember, if you're following, you're not making the rules. Let's, let's keep that clear. Not that I can't do it. I know I can do it. <laughs> That's why I don't need to prove anything. That's why I've gone eating for quite some time. Gone without eating for quite some time. In fact, I, I every day I, I, I can't say every day. That's why I'm hesitating. <laughs> I go without eating for quite some time. I eat when. Others eat, not so much necessarily if I'm hungry or not. Alright, let's do this. I accept a new perception today. I have been training, I have been choosing and desiring, and it is today I finally make the decision. I could avoid it. I could stop, I could say that it never worked. But regardless of the outcome, it has been my decision. It has always been my decision. I choose the way of love. I choose the way of peace. I choose to allow my perception to shift, to change in correspondence to my desire. I desire to be happy. Even as all the universe desires me to be happy. It 
is this? The, this. Ugh. It is this day I choose to be ready. It is this day I choose to be willing. If you have no questions, please take this moment to relax. Remember to breathe and melt into emptiness. Simply taking a few moments to edit this meditation as it is developing. You are a beautiful being of pure love. It has always been my decision. I choose the way of love. I could avoid it, I could stop, I could say that it never worked. But regardless of the outcome, it has been my decision. It has always been my decision.
never worked. But regardless of the outcome, It is this day. 